video I'm going to show you how to use basicgrade.com's digital templates. The first thing you need to do is open the template in your photo editing software. I'll be using Adobe Photoshop, but if you have Adobe Photoshop Elements, I'll tell you the command or keystrokes that you need to use to do the exact same steps. So when you open it up, you might get this dialog box telling you that some text layers need to be updated. Go ahead and hit update. And here's the template we're going to be using. The idea behind these templates is that you can drop in patterns and photos into the shapes on the template and it sort of um, it clips off the area anywhere outside the shape that you want. I'm going to show you how that works right now with a pattern. This is a pattern from the Phoebe collection and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select all and copy. You can do all, I use the keystrokes for that, but you can do that from the edit menu. You can do um, or select, select all, and then edit, copy. Then you're going to come over to your template. And I want this pattern to be, let's see, I want it to be in this bottom section of the house. So I'm going to go to the layers palette and I'm going to find that specific piece. Every single piece of, or shape in this template is in the layers palette and it should be labeled for you. So I'm going to go to the part where it is, let's see, house bottom and I'm going to just turn that layer on and off just to make sure it's the one I really want and that is the one. So with that layer selected I'm going to uh, paste or command V and what it does is it puts that pattern directly over top the, of the shape I want it to be. Now I need to make a clipping mask of that shape. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here to this little fly out menu in the layers palette and go to create clipping mask. And you'll see that it, it cut out everything around that shape. It only has the paper inside. The best part about using clipping masks in Photoshop and Photoshop Elements is that you can still edit the pattern that's inside the shape. I'm going to select my Move tool, and then I can move this pattern around inside. It's really great for when you place photos inside, and I'm going to show you how to do that right now. I have this picture of me and my mom right here. I'm going to... Uh, select all, copy, and I'm going to come over here and I want it to be in the top area of this house. So I'm going to go up to, let's see, I'm going to scroll down to that area, house, top, just to make sure it's the right section. I'm going to turn the layer on and off. And then I'm going to paste over top. Now this photo is quite a bit larger than the area it's going to go into, but I'm going to show you, you don't even need to, to size it down right now. You can do it after you make the clipping mask. Another way to make the clipping mask, instead of using this uh, drop down menu on the side, you can use a keystroke. And if you're on a, a Mac in Photoshop, you're going to do Option Command G, and that'll clip it into the shape. If you're on a PC in Photoshop, you're going to do Option Control G. If you're in Photoshop Elements on a Mac, you're going to use Command G. And if you're on a PC, you're going to use Control G. Okay, so I've got this photo in there and I need to move it around and make it the right size for that shape. So I'm going to, while the, the photo is selected, I'm going to go to Edit, Free Transform. You can also do that with the Apple T or Control T keystroke. Holding down the Shift key, I'm just going to size this down and then I can move it around and get it in there in the spot that I need it. Then I'll hit enter and it locks that in. So there I've got a photo in that shape. I'm going to go ahead and fill in the rest of these areas. You can even fill in the text over here the same way. And then I'll be back to show you the finished page. Okay, so I filled in everything on my page. And the next thing I need to do is um, I need to edit the text down at the bottom. And before I get to that, I just want to let you know, I did add some subtle shadows onto the areas on the page. Um, the shadows don't come in the template already, so you'll need to add them yourself. Um, I'm going to go over to the uh, Tools palette. I'm going to select my Text tool. And then I can come in and just uh, put my cursor over this text area, and I can start to edit the text. I'm going to zoom in here so we can see it a little bit better. So I'm going to... So I can be, you know, right in my little area, like, um, I absolutely love these photos of the family from back in 2008. 
Okay, so you can just fill in your text there and then your page is done.